Hello, good day. I am Zarina May Hadap, and I will be uh, discussing the basic concepts in statistics. So first, what is statistics? It is a collection of methods for planning experiments, obtaining data, and then analyzing, interpreting, and drawing conclusion based on the data. And now, we're down to basic terms. So data are the values that are variable that the variables can assume a variable is a characteristic that is observable or measurable in every unit of universe then population is the set of all possible values of a variable lastly sample is a subgroup of a population and then next the classification of variables in qualitative so words or codes that represent a class or category and expresses a categorical attribute such as gender religion marital status and highest educational attainment and then next is the quantitative variables so number that represent an amount or account num uh, numerical data sizes are meaningful and answer questions such as how many or how much, such as, for example, height, weight, household size, number of registered cars. And then next, we have the discrete variables. So here, data that can be counted. So for example, number of days, siblings, usual number of text messages sent in daily or day, in a day, usual uh, daily allowance in school so we have here some examples of discrete variables so a number of sheep were freed from their cage okay so our keyword here is the number word because um the indiscrete um variables it says uh, earlier that uh, data that can be counted so it can be counted the sheep can be counted and then next uh, the number of cats playing around the backyard and then lastly the number of players participated during the sea games 2022 and then next is the continuous variables it can assume all values between any two specific values like 0 0.5 1 1.2 and etc and data that can be measured so for example height weight temperature and then next example of the continuous variables so how many gallons of milk will the cow gives then the length of time it takes a truck driver to go from new york city to miami and then lastly the amount of water in 12 ounce bottle so in this example we cannot uh, know or we can um identify uh how many uh for example how many gallons of milk will the cow gives next is the nominal level so this is a characterized by data that consists of name, labels, or categories only. Example, gender, most preferred color, usual sleeping time, and civil status. So in nominal variables, nominal represents categories that cannot be ordered in any particular way. It is only a matter of distinguishing by name. So we have here many examples of nominal variables or nominal nominal variables. So we have the brands of laptop, medicine name, hair color, favorite fruit, eye color, research title, favorite food, ethnicity, favorite country, pronouns, greatest strength, favorite song, preferences in perfume, civil status, type of work or shade of lipstick it can be categorical so for example in brands of laptop so we have uh, many type of laptop for example uh, we have the asus the samsung the um the apple so 
a lot of uh, brands uh, we can name it. Next is the ordinal level. So this involves data that arrange in some order but differences between data. For example, happiness educational index for the day, highest educational attainment, the rankings of tennis player, academic excellence awards. Ordinal variables, this involves data that arrange in some order but differences between data. It has two or more categories which can be ranked. For example, for the Likert scale, we have um, the strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly agree. So this Likert scale is mostly used in research um, uh, studies. And then we have the t-shirt size. We have the small, medium, large. And lastly is the position for class officers. So, yeah, we have the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, auditor, sergeant at arms, PRO, and business management. And then next is the interval level. So, this is the same in ordinal level with an additional property that we can determine meaningful uh, amounts of differences between the data. So, for example, the body temperature intelligence quotient interval uh, variables uh, it provides information about order and provides an interval it also determine meaningful amounts of differences between the data it takes numeric values and may be classified as a continuous variable so we have here our example of interval variables so we have dates so for example the date today and then next, voltage, shoe size, temperature, and test score. So that's our example. And then lastly, the ratio label. The uh, ratio level, rather. This is an interval level modified to include the, inter, uh, the inherent zero starting point. So it possesses a meaningful absolute fix zero point and allows all arithmetic operations such as number of siblings weight and height so ratio variables it provides information about order and provides an interval it also determine meaningful amounts of differences between the data so it takes numeric values and may classified as continuous variable so for example we have the pulse, the dose amount of medicine, for example, height, weight, and age. So, for the ratio variable, so we have the pulse. For example, we, uh, we took the pulse rate of the patient. So, it results to uh, 90. So, that's our ratio variables. Okay, so that will be all for my uh, presentation and thank you for listening.